How are we doing, robust family? Look, before this show starts, which I know you're gonna enjoy, can I ask you just to do me a small favor? I need all of you to give a robust smash to that like and subscribe button. Why? Because it helps us a lot. We wanna get this material out there and it makes sure that you do not miss a breakfast show beat on this Liberty Radio YouTube channel. All right, guys, do it right now and I'll see you in the show. All right, good morning, good morning. Oh, oh, it's that time. It's a good morning to you. I'm your host, Robert Ashete, your robust presenter. And this is your breakfast show. Guys, I'm going to be with you from now until the hours of 10 o'clock this morning, bringing that Vim Gusto on determination. And also joining me in the studio, we have the lady of sound herself, the one and only Kathleen. Good morning to you, Kathleen. Good morning. How are we feeling today, Kat? I'm good. Yeah, uh, did you get enough sleep this morning? Yeah, like, yeah, you've got enough, just just about enough. You yeah. see, I mean, how many cups of coffee? Just the one or two, just maybe. One so far. Okay, I mean, you're, doing, you're holding up quite well, I must say. You're just Thank like you. naturally cruising through the mornings since the good old days. You've been absolutely Chaotic awesome. Chaotic mornings keep you awake. What's that? Chaotic mornings keep you awake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know you just did be inspired, right? Yeah. Uh, with Bishop James, that mm. was very nice, right? Yes. Fantastic. All right, guys. And so, as you've just had 27 minutes of be inspired, we're here to take the baton now and take you to the next 20, uh, next two hours. Hours. And joining me in the studio today, we have our special, special guest who's been um, sharing with us on this new journey, which we're calling Balancing Faith and Success. We have the one, the only, it's Mr. Effie. Good morning to you, Mr. Effie. Good hey. morning, good morning, listening. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Very well, thank you. I'm so glad you're a morning person, you know. Yes. Do you know why? The reason why I say that is because every time I, because every time I, I look at people in the morning, and if they're not a morning person, they're just like... <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's. Um, but I must confess, I had a double espresso. Oh, ah. <laughs> good move, good move. Good move. He's, like, he's like, I need to perform. <laughs> and look, all right, well, it's great to have you with us on the show. Um, I just want to say that, um, you know, I've been getting some feedback from our listeners. Um, who've been tuning into the show and every time we finish the program they've been saying you know what i need I, I know what to do i know i know what i need to look for it's cleared up some doubts so this pursuing um you know balancing faith and success and these elements you put in between where we've looked at business structures uh business types etc and all these kind of these these information that you've been passing to us it's given a, a lot of people confidence it's given a lot of people confidence and I know for sure you're looking to see the fruit um, of what's been scattered, right? Yes, I want to see success. I want to see because sometimes I think people just need a bit of guidance and direction. Yeah. And it's a privilege and an honor to be here from mm -hmm. experience to give that guidance because we all have qualities in us that sometimes we undermine and yeah. we don't believe in ourselves. Wow, well, true. So a bit of like, it's like, you know, turning on the light bulb in within us you mm. know switching on that light and say okay wow this mm. is me i can do it we you know the qualities we have is priceless to be honest yeah that is absolutely amazing and, and i think one of the key things that you're doing is you're showing us uh, practical ways where we can apply those talents right yes um to create something it could be a business an industry or charity or something that doesn't exist to apply those talents yes definitely last week last month we spoke about uh, non-profitable mm. structures yeah yeah <laughs> and that was quite interesting that isn't was it? very interesting guys i literally I'm, I'm i'm like many of you i've never thought about a uh, non-profit or having a charity i thought you that would be someone who would do the something someone someone would do something someone would do if they were retired do you know what I mean? Are they retired? Okay, so let me just finish the rest of my days doing something in the charity. But um, there's actually something very sustainable in terms mm -hmm. of you participating uh, financially, but more than that, doing what people love. Exactly, exactly. So the good thing is that we're in a society here in England and Wales that there's flexibility to actually align yourself with a structure that suits you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes don't just look at the mainstream, be flexible, gain knowledge, and you'll be surprised that there will be a structure that just aligns with your, with your mission, with your goal, with your qualities. 
just hearing that now, that is already very empowering, <laughs> literally. And I and I think even though you're saying concerning this that I mean, um, you're looking, you're looking at the UK. Yes. I believe in other countries, you know. I think yes. one of our listeners in South Africa was saying there are lots of uh, facilities available for people to go out there and to build things. Exactly, you know? exactly. In in most countries, most capitalist society, mm -hmm. you know, because obviously in some countries it's different where you have communism, mm -hmm. but most capitalist society, it's is the same. Mm -hmm. They try and be create because capitalism depends on the people really being independent and excelling in different ways that's mm -hmm. how you know the government sees growth mm -hmm. through revenue through enterprise Love that. through sustainability mm -hmm. so they empower people that's the idea of capitalism beautiful and i think now in today's world it's more important than ever exactly right because exactly. there's, there's a lot of challenges out there but we could help to turn the tide exactly by having a capitalist mindset exactly exactly beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys. So we're going to be hearing more on that this morning. Uh, my my tablet's going a bit funny on me, so I'm going to have it to give it a bit sh a bit of a shake. I think All you right, have but to use your phone to check the comments. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No problem, Cat. You're awesome. You're always there for us, Cat. You. you know you're the best, right? <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Forever and ever and ever. Thank All you. right, guys. You, you're accepting compliments more these days, by wow. the way. And before she like, when you give a compliment, she'd be like. Hmm. <laughs> you feel like she's supposed to jump out the chair and run behind a, a tree or something. But now she's immune to compliments, so yeah. she just yeah. does what she has to do. Yeah, but so you, she takes it in. That's yeah, good. she take. Yeah, mm. this is great. This is great. This is, this is great progress, man. <laughs> if you've been following the series with Mr. Effie, it's, been, it's we've we titled it "Balancing Faith and Success." All right, yes. Mr. Effie, how important is this? No, it's critical because we know that. What matters to us is our faith, our relationship with God, and that is what success is about. You know, success without God is failure. Mm. You know, and we know from history, from the Bible shows us that there are people who seemed, there are nations who seemed and people who seemed successful. Yeah. But that success did not last. Mm. You it's know? It's true. It's true. So, it's yes. So, it's the same today. And, and I think the scary thing is, is that... Um, I think there's two ways to look at it. We can be overly religious and people have this mindset that to be poverty is to be is to be humble, right? To, and just to stay where they are for, for various reasons that they mind that they might have in their mind. But then obviously what we see God say is that he can trust us with things, but he has to be able to trust us and we can lose our way on the journey, right? That's correct. And that again we see from history when people of God, people in the faith were comfortable they mm. tend to yeah. put god aside that is the scary part isn't <laughs> that's it that's the fearful part yeah so it's that's what history shows us so mm. it means that we have to always deliberately mm. make sure we align ourselves in the faith okay. and it's a daily you know it's a daily battle yeah all right guys so if you're in this daily battle i want to see you in the live chat say yep i'm in it I'm in it, in the daily battle. And today, <clears throat> the theme that we're going to be sharing with us is to help us to continue in this battle soberly, as we've been touching on uh, these past Tuesdays, uh, but also to, to arm ourselves. And today, we're going to be giving you a morning coffee question in just a moment. Maybe you're listening to the program right now, and maybe you've, you've worked for many years, you're a good worker, you're a great employee, and you don't have any in intention to move into business or to develop anything else, but you can be an excellent employee, right? Yes, definitely, definitely. Definitely, you can be that employee that you are dependable, you know, and um, you serve. Yeah. And they, that, that, that's your brand. And yeah. you're, you know, you will be required everywhere. That's it. I love that. And, you know, what happens when demand exceeds supply? Because you are one. It means your, your, your price goes up, wow. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. So this this is great. So you've got that situation and then you've got those who are thinking of building or developing something. Previously, we did look at uh, business business types, right? Yes. Today in the show, we're going to look at business models. models yes. All right. Now, I just want to show you something, a very short clip that I got my hands on, um, which is basically just looking at the life of a, an entrepreneur, if you decide to go down that route. Um, and I just want to hear your thoughts on it, guys. Please feel free. We love the show. We love your communication. And just soak this in. Mr. Effie, when you're watching this, just I want to hear your thoughts on this clip. All right. Take it away, cat. 
Most people only pay attention to the final product of a successful entrepreneur. They say things like, I can never be like them, or they got lucky. What most don't see is what they've overcome. All the struggles, the daily rejections, the heartaches, the betrayals, the rumors, the criticism, the empty bank account, and all those lonely nights while trying to make their vision a reality. You see, the only difference between the one who quits and the one who doesn't is that they showed up every day. They worked hard every day. They hustled every day. They learned from a proven mentor every day. They improved every day. They did all this even though they felt like quitting every day. And eventually, they became who they are today. Wow. So I, I love that video. Um, I personally do really enjoy it. And yeah, I mean, your thoughts on, those, on that clip? Big it's just, it's so true. Mm. It's so true because um, everything you see, it's it's not luck. Mm. It's the, There's a lot of background mm. effort and deliberate effort to get to that point. Yeah. Everything. Wow. So look, guys, uh, and I think there was something else that, that was mentioned there um, about as well as showing up, having a proven a mentor. Yes. How important are mentors? No, mentors are very important because mm. normally there are people who are experienced in different areas, seasoned, and they guide you know to make certain mistakes that usually anyone would make. Mm. You know. So it's it's important to be guided and led in the right direction. Mm -hmm. You will eventually get there through hard work, but mm -hmm. I think when you have someone leading you and guiding you, mm -hmm. it um, it reduces the 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 mistakes you will make. Mm -hmm. So you are learning from what mistakes that others have made, really. Mm -hmm. So it's it's very important to have a mentor. So I, I can assume that when you go into a different type of field you actually get someone who's had more experience in that field as well? It's very important. I would like to have that. Yeah. <laughs> not, I won't say it's normal, but yeah. I would like to have that, okay. yes. Okay, beautiful. So look, guys. So hey, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the show. Just for to interrupt. If you haven't done already, hit smash the robust like and subscribe button. Why not? Why not? You like us, I like you. Why not? Um, but we were looking at different uh, business types previously and you really broke it down for us, you know. Um, I'm even thinking about starting a charity just because of that conversation. Literally, it's something that really opened my mind. But today we're going to be looking at business models, right? Yes. Uh, so what's the difference between business types and business models? Well, business structures are the okay. structures that a business takes, okay. you know, the form. Mm -hmm. For example, depending on the mission, on the goal of the business. Mm -hmm. So if you and the way it's the way the um, business the ownership of the business as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. where a business model is how you decide to target your i will say mainly the target market okay. in a way okay so for example you know a business model could be a service based model mm -hmm. where the business is providing just services mm -hmm. Okay. You know? So services would be like consulting. Exactly. Um, Financial services. Okay. And that, the good thing about that is the cost of, the cost is really low if you are providing services. Okay. You know what I mean? Because you don't need to have a building maybe? You don't need, you, you yeah, you don't need, especially now with the, you can work from home, mm -hmm. you can be a financial expert mm -hmm. and you can have clients and provide those services. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the UK used to be 
known for manufacturing during the Industrial Revolution. Mm -hmm. Did a lot of manufacturing. But now it's it's a service-based economy, Mm. you know, especially through financial product. That's why the city is well known. Mm. So it's really a service-based economy, a lot of financial transaction going through the UK. Mm -hmm. So we are lawyers, uh, instructed, bankers, you know, um, um, accountants. Mm -hmm. So the city, you know, you'll you'll be surprised during COVID, the law, the magic law firms made more money than they ever did because that's where there were a lot of acquisition and mergers. Mm, wow. So you see, a service-based model, the way I see business is sometimes people ask you, oh, the economy is this, the economy is that. What do you think? Mm-hmm. I think an entrepreneur needs to be fluid. I hear that. Because for every economy, you need to be alert to what is required. Wow. You know? I and like where that. the niche is. Because there is always, there is always, opportun- there, we always have opportunities. Mm-hmm. So, I've got a question. Yes. So, if, if supposing you have someone who wants to be an entrepreneur, they are an entrepreneur, but they just want to focus on just one way of doing things. So they just want to focus on just one industry. Well, would they be doing themselves a disservice? Because like what you said, it fl- uh, needs to be fluid. Um, but I think when you say that, I think because times change, technology changes. So they might need to adapt or take on a new industry maybe. So would they be doing themselves a disservice by focusing on only one type of service? It's very difficult to answer that question. Because the best way that companies grow is to get feedback from clients to suit their needs. Mm -hmm. And it depends again on the product. But generally, I say it's important to be fluid. It's important to know what your, what feedback. That's why you see most people even pay you to get feedback. They are so, yeah, they are desperate for feedback. And many, many companies that develop, they listen to their customers they mm. listen to their clients and that's how especially in hospitality mm. they do get a lot of feedback and they when they implement it you see them always developing so they are fluid they need to move with the times now t- things change very rapidly yeah so i think in general though there will be exceptions i personally i think you really need to be fluid you cannot be rigid okay. especially in 2024 wow. with ai with technology with um, now people really are very fast paced they want things now mm-hmm. so you really have to be fluid mm-hmm. we've got um uh, some comments here uh we have one from uh, uh olu mide saying that reminds me let me go and book my practical lessons okay this is about um not self-sabotaging uh, because you said that we need to if we fail we have to we're improving towards perfection um chris and hazel says good morning okay this is this is about the morning coffee question so we're not going to lose a chain okay. of thought but it's just here so chris and hazel said sabotage is low self-esteem feeling unworthy or maybe past traumas but with god all things are possible bit by bit progression over perfection love it olimide is laughing and that was suffering previously all right fantastic so in 2024, we need to be fluid. We yes, need to be ready in my to, opinion. To, to there could opinion. be exceptions, but I think but I there think, may be exceptions, but I think yes. I think we can be, as well, especially because of technology. Yes. The way technology yes. is, the way we can communicate speedily, uh, manage people, um, learn new things. I, I, and I think I agree with you on that, being fluid. Yes. You know, and I think that's why these, I think it's good to know these different business models to mm-hmm. see where we can fit ourselves in, right? Yes, correct. So that's the, the service based model mm-hmm. is providing services. Mm-hmm. Then you have the a model that with the freemium model. The who? Freemium. So, you know, premium, yeah. freemium. Uh. So that that's where you, like Spotify, for example. Yeah. Spotify, they give you free services. Yeah. But they get their money through advertising. Uh, all that means. Okay. You know what I mean. So that's a way of. <laughs> that's interesting. That's a model that you could look at. Because you know what you said about just a second ago about p- they want feedback. Yes. I was gonna I was gonna um, comment that 
people they actually pay people for feedback yes if you go on a website like how can i make money through feedback and imagine with advertising imagine if you used to promote something or an idea for free that you share with people like a blog and you had adverts relating to that subject they've got like a business there because of advertising that is it Mm. So it's a freemium model, mm. you know. So it, these are all business models that, depending on what you are doing, what your talent is, mm -hmm. with AI, the internet now, technology, we can do a lot. Mm. You have the marketplace model, for example. Okay, marketplace model. Marketplace model like eBay. Aha. Uh -huh. You know, or e-commerce, e-commerce, okay. eBay. Okay, you have that whereby mm -hmm. it's a marketplace. Amazon, Amazon. Mm. But it's electronic. You don't yeah. even have to leave your house. Yeah, you don't even have to carry goods yeah. anywhere. And anymore. there are things you can all do. One can do in, on that on those platforms that can also be a business. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look into that one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I I I think that's. I f and, I, and you know the interesting thing is is that people are listening right now and there are things or products that they take a uh, big interest in mm. and maybe they never thought of looking into selling it on Amazon you know or, or one of these different sites they or I think they never actually considered that this thing that they take great passion in it could be maybe even I'll just use an example maybe knives culinary knives and maybe just using the Amazon model exactly instead of taking it into the house and bring it on physically onto the high street, they could just use one of these marketplace, electronic marketplace. And also you can take advantage of arbitrage, which means... Arbitrage. Which means where you sell, where you buy something cheaper somewhere else and you sell it more expensive somewhere else. Yeah, I so for that. example, if you look at Amazon, you see the same product but different prices. Yeah. Have you noticed? Yeah. And how, sometimes how significantly... Work? higher well that's what's happening people are buying the product yeah. and reselling but mr effie I I, I I maybe you can answer me this because i've seen a product that's like pounds on amazon but then the other person is selling it for like 10 times more and people will buy what is going on because people don't most some people be, <laughs> some people don't search <laughs> so they just see for various reasons why they should buy it so Sometimes people buy the same product from Amazon and resell it. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I like that. That's because I, I think I'm old school. I I grew up on the whole thing is you buy an apple for fifty p and sell it for a pound, right? <laughs> and, and 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 I'm old school. I, I, but now we can do it electronically. Exactly. Beautiful. So arbitrage. Wow. Got it. Yep. So we have the franchise. Yep. A franchise all right is i think we're going to talk more about this one yeah so just to, just to show on the screen i got i managed to get a picture um of different business types i'll see if i can put it here so you can have a look at it here uh so we have different business types that you've gone through some of them uh just just to just to kind of give you guys an idea why mr if he's talking about this is to see where maybe you can fit yourself right so we had many uh, this is by agt manufacturing business service business that like you mentioned merchandising business uh sale proprietorship uh partnerships i mean you touched on that the other the other day the mm -hmm. different corporation corporation multinational corporation limited uh, uh liability franchises which we're going to go on now cooperatives. cooperatives so there's different types of models and what mr f is here is giving us a few ideas on how they work for us to put ourselves in. It might resonate with you or you might want to find research more about it because it might resonate with how you might want to work. Yep. So now we're going to go into one of my curiosities, which is franchising. Yes. So how does that work? Okay. Franchising, the good thing about it is it's a business that has been established over time. Mm. They've been able to create robust system and process he said robust sorry so they have an understanding of way of doing things mm. and a method that works mm -hmm. and they are ready to sell it to the franchisee mm. for 
royalties so you pay for it so mm. a big example we all know is mcdonald's mm-hmm. so mcdonald's operates a franchise model mm-hmm. so it means that it's a brand that is well established and you don't need to go through the, the challenges of a new business mm. for example you could make the best burgers mm-hmm. but let's say but i could be making the best burgers but who knows my yeah yeah, you, you, I'm sure if you see McDonald's, yeah, and you see FA's burgers, you will go to <laughs> you will go to McDonald's if you lo- if you know already McDonald's yeah. or you prefer Burger King, you will go to Burger King. Yeah, so that's you know what, people, what to you know what to expect. Mm. So that's what people buy into. Hey, you guys! Um, I hope you enjoyed the show. Just slight interrupt. If you haven't done already, hit smash the robust like and subscribe button. Why not? Why not? You like us, I like you. Why not? I feel sad about that though, because I, I, I'm someone, I like to try different things and sometimes I go to these odd restaurants and I've tasted some burgers that are so good that McDonald's is just so inferior compared to. True. However, no one else knows about it. Yes. So if if I was to take over that particular business, it's not going to be have as much appeal as a McDonald's franchise. Yes. yes. Mm. So it, so so that person who is fearful, mm-hmm. which we don't encourage, mm-hmm. you can say, okay, I'm going to buy a franchise, mm-hmm. and I'm sure of, I'm more or less sure of the return, I'm more more or less sure of yeah. what I'm going to get. Yeah. But the risk is that you don't have control. If anything happens with that brand, for example, Mm. let's say you recall when they had issues with um, employment Mm. exploitation, exploiting workers at the time with McDonald's, for example. Mm. Things like that, it will affect you, Mm -hmm. you know. So you don't have control. That's the disadvantage of a franchise. But the advantage is that it's a well-known brand. So it's there. You see it on the high street. Anyone who sees that, they're like, yep, yeah, I'm in. Exactly. They, they won't ask you, you know, have you been um, tested for Equali or anything like that? <laughs> They'll just know it's McDonald's. So, because sometimes, unfortunately, we get scared of, you see this street food, yeah. you know, sometimes you get, you get a bit <laughs> scared and it smells nice. So you see, but these, yeah. these took hard work. Mm. You know, these, to build a brand mm-hmm. takes... Uh, takes hard work you know, years isn't it? years of sacrifice to get it right wow. so because of that you can then structure it and 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 sell it and people will now who believe in it they will purchase your 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 they will purchase the franchise and run with the business so it's a good way for somebody who doesn't want that hassle to maybe a bit scared of failure or uh-huh. just want something that is a bit setting or to go heavy on marketing exactly go heavy on you know putting putting it out there to people all that legwork all that um trust is already in the franchise yes. like mcdonald's exactly mm. or you, you may decide that you want to create your own franchise why not why not why not you know i've, I've been in shopping centers sometimes and i've seen this um corn on the cob uh little booth yes that's and, a, that's and a I, franchise yes. and i'm like you know, but then when I checked it online, actually, it's actually a pretty sensible business. Yes, yes. You know, if people yes, want something yes, healthier, yes. they can tell you what the income, what you what you could potentially earn, and everything's kind of all set up for you. Mm-hmm. And that's corn on the cob. Yeah. It's interesting. Um, so, I just, by the way, I just want to share something. Uh, there's actually a movie called The Founder. Um, right now, you can watch it on um, Amazon Prime. Uh, but I think it's really good and basically just shows how Ray, you know, the salesman, met the owner of McDonald's. So McDonald's was originally owned by uh, two other gentlemen. And basically he, Ray had a vision, you know, of what this could be because the guys had the system of McDonald's, but they were just in one place. Yes. And this guy, Ray, with the vision, he literally took it for the, took it to the masses. A lot of um, bad behavior there, but human beings, you know what they're like. But it's very inspirational looking at how a franchise model can work. Yes, yes. So that's the franchise model. It has its disadvantage. It has its advantage because then you can't really 
develop your own brand mm. you are limited to 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 their ways of doing to their way of doing things that's why you need to research mm. as well if you are going into a franchise their ethical values mm-hmm. the way they do things but the good thing is that everything is already set up for you the the, the, the supply chains mm-hmm. so that's what you are purchasing mm. so let me ask you generally speaking to set up a uh, franchise is it really expensive or? it depends Okay. It's about demand and supply. It really depends on the French. Like McDonald's is really expensive. Mm. But there are those that are very also, that are not expensive. It just depends. As everything else, mm-hmm. it depends on the brand. It depends on the um, re, on the return of the business. Mm-hmm. And um, in fact, McDonald's, I hear they are very strict Really? So they don't just accept it. It's not just about the money. Mm. You have to make sure. You see, there are some, I don't know if you've noticed, there are some franchises, even though every shop should be the same, mm. but there are some that have not been able to get it right where you go to their shop, mm-hmm. not McDonald's, I mean others, yeah. that you can find it's not really the same. Mm. Yep. So maybe there's a problem with system and control. Yeah. There's a problem with corporate governance. Mm. You know, so if somebody want, if someone listening right now, and they said, you know, I wanna, I wanna start a business, right? Um, I, I, I have some money put away, right? Would they need a substantial amount of money to start a franchise? I know you said they're all different, but are there some that can get them foot, get their foot in the door to start? Yeah, something? for example, they are cleaning franchise. Okay. Yes. So, like. Maybe the person, is, if you want to start a cleaning business, mm-hmm. but you don't want to start afresh, you want a brand that is known, mm-hmm. you can, you, there's a, in every sector, I think there's a franchise in, mm-hmm. I, I don't, I don't know of any that they, you will not have opportunity to have a franchise of a brand that is known. Mm-hmm. Now, how known, I think the, the cost also will be how much of the market share do they have? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Okay. You know, for example, McDonald's had a huge market share, so yeah. the cost is really, yeah, really high. That they have to even qualify their applicants as okay. well. You know, in very strict way. Mm-hmm. Some are easier to get, mm-hmm. which maybe are not as established. Mm-hmm. So it really depends on, and it's not just there are different industries. Mm-hmm. There are hotels, um, you know, um, as I said, cleaners, window cleaning. Mm-hmm. There are many, many, many um, opportunities in that way in, every, in different industry. Okay, here's here's something interesting. So we spoke, we, we use McDonald's, huge, massive example mm-hmm. of a franchise. We can go smaller, we can go for the not so well known, but a person could be listening and say, you know what, wherever it is, you know, if I could find something that I can, I, I like, yeah, I'll run with it. I'll run. So they have an opportunity there that the system, the structure is already set up. What are your thoughts on buying a business that's already running on the high street? Yeah, that's also good. Yeah, because then you are buying the goodwill. Mm-hmm. It's already has a customer base. You should. Yeah, you just need to do your own due diligence. Yeah, you know, because I actually have someone that I want to. I, I I actually had it ready for last time that I wanted to show you uh, a nice video uh, of a very nice lady that I follow. Um, and what it is is she, her name is Kelly from up, up, Upstaged. Um, but I, the video from last time, it seems like it's, um, it's, it's vanished from my existence. Uh, but hopefully I'll get to show it to in just a moment. Yep. Um, but while I prepare that, just a very quick question. So, so you looked at franchising, you've looked at services, uh, we've looked at, um, what's it called? A market, a marketplace like electronic marketplace. Uh, what other types are there? Businesses that we can look at. Direct sales. Di- oh, that's one of my favorite ones. Direct sales, yeah. Like Avon. Mm-hmm. You know, like um, Salad Master. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So those are direct sales business where you sell to family and friends. Mm-hmm. So if that's good for people who so many times for me anyway. Again, this mm-hmm. you have to do your own research in all this. Mm-hmm. But that's good for people who want a second income, I think. And mm-hmm. maybe they are people, you know, you're a people's person, mm-hmm. you know, and you are. So you just, so, 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 so that's quite, um, 
that's quite uh, i think that can be very good yeah because i think it was because I, I i don't know i think it's because i can weigh in on this one um because i i because i've been involved in direct sales and i think it's good because you don't have to create the product or manufacture it uh, and i think that was good and and i think in some cases you don't have to there's no initial investment mm -hmm. uh, but there are other cases where there is i think avon you know once you've got in there you have to kind of buy the product but then you're like, you have to make sure you sell it, otherwise you yes. end up with lipstick in your, in your bedroom, right? Yes, it's, it has a disadvantage. Mm. You have, sometimes people end up not being able to sell. But again, it, it depends on what works for you, really. And mm -hmm. people have done, as you know, in all this, people have done so well, mm -hmm. extremely well. So there is no good or bad. It just depends. It, we're all different. Mm -hmm. It depends on what. That's why it's important that we we f we really know our who we are. Mm -hmm. We know our our talent. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's good to see what people have achieved, but don't just follow people mm -hmm. because if you do, you may end up losing out on mm -hmm. your own on your own talent. Yeah, you know. So it's important that we. We know who we really are. Mm -hmm. We have that knowledge of who we are. What, Because I believe when you find your own talent, when mm -hmm. you know what your goal is, mm -hmm. that keeps you going as well. Mm -hmm. That when things are tough, mm -hmm. when things are, when you face, which will come, when you face challenges, obstacles, it will keep you going. Mm -hmm. But if you are following someone else's idea, when you face challenges, I think it's easier to give up because it's not from you. Yeah. So in all this, it just depends on who you are finding yourself and giving it your best shot. Mm -hmm. What would you say to the person who's watching right now? Yes. And maybe they're, they might be in a place where they, they feel a bit stuck, they feel a bit stagnant, or maybe they're doing something and they might have some doubts about it, or maybe they, they right now, they're free. They're free. They're, they're like, you know, I'm open to, you know, what God can bring to me. Um, and you know our listeners are listening to what you're saying right now what would you say to them uh, about choosing a type of business if they do want to go that route or not what would you say to them I will say what first of all decide on and know what you really want to do what you really like to do mm -hmm. research is important mm -hmm. as we said you may like something that is not marketable mm -hmm. So with research, you have to now refine it to what people want. Okay, and that takes effort, That right? takes effort. Mm. So everything is hard work. Yeah. Because people really want service. Mm -hmm. You know, people are really looking for good service. Yeah. And I can tell you, one of the challenges we face, entrepreneurs now, is, good, is, look, is getting the right people. Mm. For example, I would say one of the industries suffering now is maintenance. Mm -hmm. Getting the right maintenance versus Brexit has been tough. Mm. So that's an industry. If you are into building maintenance, that's a huge opportunity. Mm -hmm. Because if you do oh. it well, okay, okay, I think yes. In, so my, in my personal opinion, interesting. Because there's some people that they love to build. Like even my neighbor, he's someone that he. He says he never taught. He was self-taught, but he can build and create anything. He built a shed from, um, you know, those um, those things that you put stuff on, those 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 little planks of wood. He, yes. He made a shed out of it. So what we're saying is like, so even today, there's lots of technology and all the rest of it. But if a person searches for who they are and what they want to do, the opportunities are there. The opportunities are there. Mm. There is demand. You know. So he's just doing the work. As we said, mm -hmm. progressive development. Mm -hmm. Which means you will fail, but it's progressive. It's, you are developing. Mm. And it's not even failure. I think it's bad because failure is negative. But it's in the lab when they are testing to create. They don't call it failure. No. Isn't it? No, they don't. But we have to try things in the real world. Mm. And at that time, we are trying and doing, make, developing it. It's not necessarily failure because we have a goal. Mm. 
So as we progress, we refine it. We are fluid. We are always getting better mm-hmm. in everything. And the truth is, eventually, with hard work and persistence, we'll get it right. That's it. And on that note, Mr. Effie, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Yeah, thank you so much. So, guys, you've been given a lot to meditate on. We've been given quite a few things to think about today, looking at what type of business we want to run. Or what if we want to be in business, what what type? What type? There's lots of different options. That's one thing Mr. Effie's been sharing with, sharing with us, but it links to our talent. Do we know what we take pleasure in, what we enjoy? And today he emphasized a lot on the franchise model. Go out there, let's do our research. If that's something that might be of interest to you, maybe you're like, you know, I'm too old to be running around marketing stuff. You know, I just want to get my hands right in there. And maybe the franchise model will suit you, right? Yes. Uh, maybe you just want, you you have different skills, consultancy, something you, you know very, very well. Consultancy, giving services um, to people. Um, so we've got a lot of things to consider there. This will be available. We will upload it soon or later. We will upload it soon. Um, and definitely you can check this out. But let's get proactive. Let's do the effort of doing some research. I think that's where a lot of us self-sabotage because we don't look into a matter to take it further. Right? That can be a problem. But other than that, guys, this is this has been Mr. Effie sharing that with us today. And guess what? The breakfast show is going to continue. All right. So we're going to go for a very short time out. When we come back, we're going to get ready to do a psychoanalysis to see um, if you are a self-sabotager. All right. <laughs> it's going to be simple. Don't worry. It won't be too deep. All right. But Mr. Effie, thank you so much for joining us today. Pleasure. It's been great having you. Thank you. All right. And we look forward to maybe we'll come up with a new theme next time that we can look into where, you know, you're literally being a mentor for all of us, literally helping us to prepare and get ready to do something great. I want to see, I want feedback. I want yes. to see the good things come from this. I love that. So we want feedback as well. This is a big one. Some of you give feedback, but not all of you. That's the Breath Show WhatsApp line. So even when the program's not running, Mr. Effie's asking for feedback. He wants feedback. He wants feedback from what you go, uh, what you took, initiatives that you've taken. We want some feedback. I know that will bring him great joy and happiness because he comes a long way to come and be with us in the morning. So, and I know he'll do it with joy in his heart. Yes, you're awesome. Definitely. All right. God bless you, Mr. Effie. Thank you. Okay, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that show and you actually captured that breakfast show, Vim. We laugh, we joke, we learn, and we equip ourselves for day-to-day life. If you want to see more, guess what? We're actually live with a live chat and a live video feed Monday to Fridays on libertyradio.co.uk from 8 a.m. in the morning. So don't miss a breakfast show beat. Like and subscribe if you haven't, and definitely connect online. And I'd like to see you there on the show. Type your name in, communicate on the morning. If you didn't already, we're also on Instagram. Check us out on Official Liberty Radio on Instagram. There's so much happening on that platform. Definitely go check it out. And I'd love to see you there. All right, have a good one.